children, normal educative process, the effect that producing normal children, normal human beings like that, not with the patients and all. But once I became a pathologist, my first posting was with leukemia children, anemia and leukemia patients. So 117 cases of leukemia children. So I was usually used to sing to the normal children how they respond to it and all. Now this thing, this leukemia children, when I became accustomed with these people, I have found out that they are also having some effect. Maybe not to, not the same effect which I expected. Because I was expecting, we, I usually give it for an educative purpose. But this was not like that. It is a feeling purpose. It is a, purpose itself is different, no? Just to give some sort of relaxation, some happiness to these children and the others. What in the hospital? In the hospital, in the women and children hospital area. Because as young tutors, lecturers, we are given that clinical pathology posting, not the histopathology. We are not allowed at that time to give reports and all. So we are given this uh, clinical posting with the children. Or something. So what do you did to make them? Sing? No, I just sing normal, small, 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 small pieces of music, which is very common here. And, and most, most of these children, they are interested in certain pieces of music which they have already heard. So I usually select some small pieces of music from the existing film music which they are used to, familiar with. Then then I thought there may be something more to this because I know when you think about it, this normal film music, which is it's not that, it's not a standard thing. So there must be something very standard. When you are giving as a treatment or a medicine or a healing thing, it should be the top thing, not the the small thing. So I thought about it, then I started to learn about something about the raga music. Raga music is the classical repertoire of our country. Raga music, the weather is in North Indian raga music and also South Indian music. Both is good actually. North Indian music is more towards the 24 hour period cycle. Whereas the other thing is for our chakra. So we took Malakatta for our chakras from Kuladhara to uh, that is the so I being a more towards the Tamil culture, no? South Indian culture, I thought this will be good for us. And I started to study about this. Then I understood that this, this doesn't exist in Malayalam. In our no, this we, I am treating only the Malayali children, Malayali people, not the other people. So I thought it should be in Malayalam also. The, uh, Malagartha Radha is the, the basic of Carnatic music. It exists only in Telugu, Sanskrit, Tamil, but not in Malayalam. So I thought I have to create it. So it became a, so that is how I became, I am not a singer, but I had to create the music for my patients. This was with the purpose that I did. So I made it, but that part, that part of the music I tested only when I came to Amrita. It was there ready, but I, I could not test it in, in my medical college practice. Only here I tested it. So the importance of my Malagartha music became evident only when I came to Amrita. Till then I was using only this very music. So as a pathologist, you were working with children in Amrita? With Amrita, I, I, I was there for four years. From 2000 to 2004, I was there with Amrita people. Other, I did this pilot project and tested this. I wanted to test the 72 Mahalakartas. That is why I did that project there. The 72? Mahalakarta Ragas. That is the basic, all the permutation and combinations of Carnatic music is within that. So that has to be used. Only then you can tone up all this chakras, including the seventh one, Saraswara. That is the for toning up of this. For that, I have to use this. For simple things, for routine cases, you need not probably use it. You can use even simpler ragas. There are so many simple ragas. That we, anybody can use. But I wanted to make this because I wanted to make the best one. 
So that one I tested only in Amruta. Before that I hadn't tested that. Till that I was using only feeling music for my clients. So tell me a little bit more about the, the ragas, this frequency that you are talking about connected with the hmm? different chapters. What does stick to your children? What do you find out in this research? In children? No, in children, actually it is more of a creative type of thing. You don't have to analyze the raga, etc. for children. The young children, they are interested in the repetitive words, rhythmic, form, all those things. And your language also should be useful to them in that way. For example, no, I don't know, because you, I, I, we sing, for you it may be the English small, small, even nursery rhymes. But for us it is the small, small Malayalam, more pieces are there. Like if it is a very small child, if you put that in your lap and make it a clap like this and some, uh, sing something like Chanjadu Nichirinyadu, they like it. Or those things are enough for them. But it is not like that when people grow up. No? So for us, it is a client oriented approach, it is not just for children. It is for adults, even to a generation. Sometimes it may be a musician, classical musician who comes to you in the uh, uh, casualty department. You can't give these simple things to him. You have to give sometimes Malagata Raga itself. Only then his system will be. So for us, everything is important. The music piece which we select depends upon the patient. That is why I had to create this. The, uh, it's not just for children. I initially, I used that. But it, then I slowly, slowly increased the quality of music also. So, uh, increasing the quality of life, increasing the uh, music quality, everything goes side by side. And I took such a long time to, before I put it in black and white and give it to the world, I took a lot of time. More than 25 years I took. Because, you know, I wanted to make it perfect before I give it give it out. Not just, just giving something is not enough. We thought like that, and I don't know whether it is good or bad, but I did that. And only from 19, in the 1995 period, no, 1992 period, 1992 October it was, my husband had a coma. Five days he was in coma. At that time, he is a music lover. So, Everybody said that it's a deep coma, he may not come out of it. I thought I will try. Because when we had, ours was a love marriage. So I know which were the pieces of music which he loved in that time. Not, not at the, the coma state. But at that time, when he was very young, we were the 19, 20 year old students. At that time, which were the pieces he loved, I just started to sing that into his ears. He's in coma. Everybody was asking, why are you disturbing him when he is like this? And I said, no, we don't do something good. But when he came out of the coma, he said that he was hearing my voice and my son's voice. Both both your voices I heard. I heard some music, some, some music. And I saw a tunnel. And at the end of the tunnel, I saw a light. I was walking. This was a typical near death experience from which he came out without any damage. So that gave me another insight into using this for coma patients, for trauma, trauma, trauma patients. And so from cancer, I moved to this, then to Alzheimer's patients. So from ch children. So that is why I have given this heading like this from lullaby to deathbed. I had done. In all types of patients I have done. May, uh, so I know that it is very useful but the problem here is even though I have been voicing this opinion for such a long time, the actual, who should take up the action to introduce this into all educational institutions, yes. to all healthcare institutions, who should take action? Those people are not doing anything. They are just silent. That is my problem. I just you could not write a curriculum to do a music therapy program here. 
here and there people are doing that and all but in in this way you uh, integrated channelized way you have to introduce this into educational field into curative field into preventive field. everywhere you can introduce this in the entire system you have to introduce but for that who will take the first step even though i have gone to several universities and talked about this they just start a course give some phds this and stop that's all but it, as a as a national policy we have to take integrated medical healing through the golden chain of music therapy that is my the only mission that i am having but uh, it's going uh, happening in some way but not to the extent that i actually at this stage i will be there i think that we have to be <laughs> thankful that at least it has come up up to this no? I want to share a little more about your work as a practitioner doing music therapy with your patients. Because when you are saying that you move from from oncology to trauma, and that's actually how you activate the chakras, and you look for, you say, very special... You know the, you know the chakra uh, positions and all, no? A little bit. Huh? A little bit. A little bit. Now, now in, in healing, what we do is, what we do in healing is that in the muladhara, suppose you want to give treatment to some disease around the muladhara, pelvic uterus, bladder, but then you give muladhara ragas. There are, there are some ragas which are related to, that is why I talked about this melakarta ragas. Melagata ragas are 72 in number. Hmm? 72 in number. On either side. One side it is with, <laughs> I don't know whether without Pradimathyama leave alone that raga aspect. For each of the six chakras. 12 ragas for each chakra. Here to here. Sahasrara, all. I just want to show that also. Now, you know the, the organs related to each of these chakras. When there is a... Now, you know for each chakra, the pelvic plexus, you have muladhara, you have genital organs. Like that organs are arranging for each chakra. And now wherever you, whichever chakra rather you give, it doesn't move like this, but it moves like this only, mm. like this. So that even if you give a raga, muladhara raga here, the point of action may be from here, but it will reach the entire up to this. So there is no point in thinking about which one we use. Even if you, uh, it is going like this, the entire body is getting the effect. not that single point so that if you once you understand that now this is melakarta raga chart this is a kundalini what you what this yogi is called the kundalini this one this is a bioenergy and now from we start this uh, number 1 kanagangi we call that raga It starts from vishuddhi not from up. because from here only from ishuddhi only we start counting the 72 raga so from here from ishuddhi onwards we come up to 30 29 like that see now 1 2 3 4 like this to the deep come here then this kundalini moves not like this but straight up so 31 but at the yoga level right it co- comes like this 36 then 36 it cross over to here there is a cross over here you know that no of the kaya asma like cross over at the it cross over to here then it is round narrow then it goes right up so movement is like this straight up then like this like cross over come like this to this straight the again like this up to 72 then goes to again one 
So this is the flow. So according to this, this 72 megawatt address are arranged. So wherever you apply, you may be applying it here, 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 or here, here. But it goes on, everywhere it goes like a figure of eight pattern like this. Goes it like this, like this, like this, and it goes on like this. So everywhere it goes. But the point of application will be different depending upon the order. That is how we give it. Mm -hmm. Then there is a chart. I think this this is the first book I produced. So there are some mistakes in this actually. Because the, <laughs> the proof, etc. I produced from our government. From there. That's the first book actually. And then after that it will be And that would be better production. This production is a little bit bad. So I am not actually selling this. Only those two they have. This one I, I kept as a basic thing. So this chart is for uh, finding out uh, which raga for which chakra. This chart. From this chart you can find out. Actually, looking at this chart, you can find out because the doctor will tell you that this patient is having a heart disease. Then you know anahata chakra ragas have to be given. So just look at this. You will find the anahata chakra raga and give it. So in that way, it will be a helpful thing for the uh, beginners. Also. This is how the Malagatta Raga Chakra works. But I think uh, for actually Malagatta Ragas, about Malagatta Ragas, they are Sampurna Ragas. Sampurna means they are perfect. All the Sudhisthana, all the uh, areas of Sudhi are used. 22 Sudhis are all used used in different different modes. So, what is the use of this? But the question, there is a Sanskrit book, it tells that not only for individual healing, but for the individual, but for, for the cosmic healing, even for the entire world peace, this is required. So, creating a Malagartha Raga is not just for one individual. Even though we are giving that for healing a individual. It is not just for healing one individual, but for the whole nation, for the whole world, for the whole cosmos. So that is the important, and that is why it is very, very rare also, I think. It is very rare. Only this, uh, I had one Sanskrit composition that is uh, 18th century poet Mahavidinathan Shivan had done it and Emma Subhalashmi Mama had sung it. What talks about it? Uh, it is about uh, the 72 Malagartha, just singing. Uh, uh, two hours passive singing. Complete two hours, no, no patient will hear. No? It is complete two hours. Jnana, I made it into different, different small, small pieces, each lasting for four minutes, three to four minutes, so that we can give each. The entire thing you can't give to anybody. But if you want, you can cut it in pieces, and as uh, that's so difficult. And also, it is a Sanskrit thing. My name is Malala. Our people thank you. Then the second one is Tamil. That is also a ancient thing, Kodishwaraya thing. Then Bhalamarani Krishna has done a thing here. The famous musician, Bhalamarani Krishna. So these are the only things available in India. And now I have added one in Malayalam. So not, for, not because I am a musician or something like that, but because I. I thought from the 